I think it's interesting to watch documentaries that sort of maybe evoke problems from this uh, age we live in, like our food is getting bad, we have a lot of waste, we have global warming. I think that's always inspires me a lot because then you can actually try to solve a problem. I think that's also what happened at Phoneblocks. I saw a lot of waste and I saw a way how to maybe fix it. I had this old Canon camera, which broke. So I asked to get a new part, but it wasn't really possible. They just said, you have to buy a new camera. So I took it apart and I noticed all these parts, which were still good. I realized it generates a lot of waste. The electronic waste is one of the fastest growing waste streams in the world. I thought I have to do something about it, to maybe change it or help, or to see if I can reduce the amount of waste we use with electronic devices. So I started working on, on a phone, a modular phone. For instance, if one part is broken or outdated, you don't throw away the entire phone, you only fix what's broken or you upgrade what needs an upgrade, which is quite complex. So I put it online and then my website went offline. I got a, a lot of emails and, and Facebook messages. You just saw YouTube growing all the stats. Immediately you got like calls from media and, and newspapers and all over the world. We hooked up with uh, Google pretty early as a partner. And right now we're really looking for other partners and, and people that want to help and support. Sennheiser has a lot of resources and knowledge to use for the audio and microphone equipment. So I see a lot of opportunities in how they could work together. It's an interesting field, especially when you hear all these nerds here talking about audio. You think it's such a big world. Now I think yeah, the next goal should be to actually build this phone and start making it and let companies work together. Because I think that's the real difference if we can actually make this phone.